Hey, Carl here with Columbia Water Gardens, and we have got new pond syndrome. So check this out. Here's something that happens all the time. You build a brand new pond and the pond turns green. Well, we're out here in Southern California at the side of a pond that we finished on Good Friday, just, the, just two days before Easter. And it was a rush to get this job completed. And then everything that could have happened wrong ended up going wrong. So the pond's built fine. We don't have any leak issues or anything like that. But here is the big deal is that um, right after Easter, we had thunderstorm after thunderstorm after thunderstorm and rainwater coming down from. And so here's what happens. When you have thunderstorm activity, when you have heavy rain activity, the nitrogen that's in the atmosphere attaches itself to the rain as the rain is falling down and it literally fertilizes everything. And that's why when you see these beautiful rolling hills in the early spring and you see how green and lush and gorgeous everything is, the reason why it looks like that is because it just got fertilized. And so it's a beautiful thing to look at, but what a lot of people don't realize is, is that algae is a photosynthetic plant, just like your trees and just like your beautiful landscaping is. And so what we don't want is we don't want our ponds to do this. Pea soup. So this pond here is absolutely gorgeous when you can see to the bottom. It's about three and a half to four feet deep. We got a beautiful koi cave over here, another beautiful koi cave over here. But as it turns out, we had all this stuff go wrong at the last minute. And then the customer decided instead of calling me to ask me for help, they went online and they did the worst thing any customer could possibly ever do. They Googled the answer. Now, awesome for people that want to try to find out the answer to their questions on their own and to do all their research. But here's the problem is that oftentimes when you go into Google, you're gonna look for the answer that you wanna hear, not necessarily the answer that you need to hear. So Google told her that she needed to add plants to her pond, which is right, in part, okay? But what they didn't tell her to do was to remove the potting soil from the plants. So look at this, come on over here. So, this plant right here, watch, look at this, potting soil. This is full of plant fertilizer. And algae being a plant has now been fertilized by this potting soil here. We don't want this. So if you wanted to put this plant into your pond, it's really simple. Rinse all the dirt off the roots and then just go ahead and break it up and plant it all over the place. Your pond's gonna fertilize it. The fish are fertilizing it already anyways. Use the fish fertilizer not this fertilizer here. Check this out. We got these beautiful annuals that she also put in. More fertilizer. So basically what she did is, is she fertilized her pond and now we got green water everywhere. So here's the solution. We've got some beneficial bacteria that we're gonna use. And this beneficial bacteria is a dry bacteria. And in it, it has uh, dried up barley inside of it, which as it decomposes, is going to produce hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide at very low levels, very low doses, and that's going to go after the algae bloom itself. It also has a phosphate binder in it. Phosphates are a food source for algae, so that's also going to remove that food source. And then of course, it's got your beneficial bacteria that needs to colonize all over the rocks. And as that beneficial bacteria colonizes all over the rocks, it's going to continue to remove the food source from the algae. So I'm gonna treat this pond and I'm gonna show you one last thing. When you treat your pond with any kind of a water treatment, you wanna mix it with a bucket of pond water, okay? Dilute it and then pour it around the perimeter of the pond to be able to get a really good effective distribution of that bacteria or the water treatment, whatever it is that you're treating your pond with. I'll be willing to bet you that in a week's time, when I come back and visit this pond, it's going to be absolutely crystal clear. This is a video worth sharing. This happens to everybody's videos. So please, share this video, and if this is your first time seeing me on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell button so that you're notified every time I go and put another video up. 
So I'm Carl with Columbia Water Gardens and I'm here to remind you, stay off of Google. Happy ponding.